Hey, welcome back on this Wednesday morning. So starting off kind of quiet, but we're looking ahead to when we could potentially get a little bit of rain and that's coming tomorrow night, extending into Friday morning. But as far as coverage, it doesn't look super impressive, but you can see here's the line graph. You can see the uptick of the rain starts to increase tomorrow night. We'll just look at 11 p.m. and then continuing on through early tomorrow morning. And you can see the differences in the location. So Ironwood or Lynn, let's just say, you know, the west end of the UP, that's in the red line uh, as compared to the yellow line, the central UP and the eastern UP is in the blue. So we have three different locations to, you know, uh, replicate the different zones, but it's mainly clearly just for the west end for the UP. So go get back on tonight in counties. Those are the likely areas that will eventually have a better shot of some rain showers by Friday morning as compared to the central and the east end. And as far as accumulations, this exactly shows you exactly what I just said. So uh, rain potential in amounts of around a quarter of an inch, not super impressive. Most recent models have been continuing to back off on the coverage of the potential of those rain showers as we head towards Friday. Uh, so overall, not bad, but this is Friday morning, 7 30 in the morning. You can see scattered rain showers go give it on Tanagan counties all the way up into the Keweenaw. Most of the rain that will be over in northern and central Wisconsin. As the morning progresses, these rain showers push east and gradually fizzle. So this is 2 30 in the afternoon. We'll have a few spotty rain showers around for the afternoon and again for the east end later on on Friday night into early Saturday morning. But again, coverage is rather low and not super impressive. But for now, we continue dry with high pressure controlling our conditions. So this morning clear skies 53 over in downtown Marquette calm conditions today mid 70s and in interior areas putting us back to more typical seasonal conditions for our temperatures lower 70s along the shorelines of the Great Lakes Lake Superior Lake Michigan later on this afternoon and evening if you are sailing with the Marquette Yacht Club in Marquette uh, we're expecting decent weather for it sunny dry starting off around 70 ending in the low 60s by about 8 9 o'clock tonight sunset times 847 wave heights of around a foot uh, not much for wind gusts and winds out of the kind of northeast at around five to seven. As far as lows, a little bit milder tonight as compared to what we're waking up to this morning and where we were at yesterday morning as well. Most interior areas into the 40s tonight and then around 50 and low 50s along the shorelines of the Great Lakes. Tomorrow, a touch milder for most of the UP with upper 70s for most locations and then mid 70s along the shorelines of the Great Lakes. Here's the jet stream pattern. There's this big ridge on the uh, west of the UP over into the northern plains and central plains. This ridge in the upper levels of the atmosphere pushes east towards the Great Lakes as we head towards this weekend and early next week. And it's just going to park itself right across the Great Lakes. And with it, it's going to come a warmer air mass. So we are going to see more unseasonably warmer conditions for Saturday all the way through next week. And that's when we'll see the return of some 80s, mid to upper 80s on Sunday. And again on Monday, on Monday, we could have the potential of a few isolated 90s.